The other day I saw an online site claiming to have a test or a recommendation of the 10 best microphones in the world for DSLR video shooting. And I didn't see my microphones. And I think that I've got the two best in the world. And I actually would claim or think to myself that I've got the best microphone in the world for DSLR video shooting. So I will just uh, present a little the two best microphones in the world for DSLR video shooting uh, recommendation video. <laughs> and just to show you that I'm a real video shooter, uh, I have got a cat, just like Philip Bloom and all the others. And, well, number two best microphone in the world for DSLR video shooting is a microphone that I've been using for more than 20 years. Since the old DV days, um, where I was working for National Television in Denmark, DR, and I was uh, going to shoot a lot of film. I was, uh, I had had uh, a sound engineering, uh, what do you call it, class. I, I was, I was educated. To, was not very good, but I was. I, I had a course, half a year, a year course in in um, making sound for um, for music, and then I took a, a a short course with one of the uh, leading companies or testers of microphones for film industry, and I got an eye opener. Because they didn't just use, like we all use, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a shotgun microphone. They use different microphones for different purposes, for different environments. And they always had a choice of this. And one of the things we tested out was that using, for instance, for a dialogue, having an omnidirectional microphone. You could just hang the microphone up here and they could have two people talking together. And even with background sound, it would be great. So I decided to do something that was not traditional. I didn't buy a shotgun microphone, even for national television. I bought this one, a Sennheiser K6 omnidirectional microphone. The second best microphone in the world for DSLR video shooting in my world. And it's modular. So if I do not like this and shouldn't use a omnidirectional microphone, I can just get my cardioid, my super cardioid microphone. Put it on, and then there we are. I have a super cardioid microphone, and I can get some of the background noises behind me away. It's what you normally call a singing microphone, but it works very good with film as well. And if that's not good enough, you can always get the very, very long, very heavy shotgun microphone. And this is why I never really used the shotgun microphone. I had had it for 20 years, but I only used it for testing. I always end up with the omnidirectional. Because I think it's too long. And if you put a blimp, uh, 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 something on here, like a wind protection, it gets heavy. And it's not practical on a DSLR. It might be on a boom, uh, with a boom engineer and all this shit. So, but then, of course, I know that all you guys, most of you guys use... Um, <clears throat> A shotgun microphone and I'm I was curious could I use would I use it which one should I use and I had for the last eight years I've had um, my eyes on a Danish company I, I'm from Denmark a Danish company called DPA uh, you might know DPA from one thing if you've heard a sound from Mars that's their microphone that's up there right now 
That's how good they are. They come from a background where they've made uh, testing microphones for the industry. And they like make a lot of um, microphones for film, the film industry. If you ask a sound engineer working in film, they probably uh, use them. They should definitely know them because they can be very compact. They have some of the smallest um, Lalia microphones. Very good stuff, very expensive. And that's it, it's expensive. And I've thought, well, is it worth the money? Because I can just reveal what I think is the best microphone. Where did I put it? It's here, man. And let's compare the size, you know, one moment here. Let's just compare the size. Now, this is the Sennheiser. This is the DPA. And this is why I like it. It's tiny. And this is the, I think, 1470? 17, 1417, with their smallest modular. It's also modular, and it's called MMPC. There's also a B unit where you have a, a high pass filter, and you have a high frequency boost. For so if you put it into blimp like uh, or a softy like this, then it takes some of the higher frequencies away, and you don't want that. So you can boost it, but you can also do that in post. And the reason why I changed it to this small one, small one is not because when I use it with my omnidirectional DBA, and this is called 206, you can see then you have a tiny microphone. This is, this is an omnidirectional from, and you compare it to the omnidirectional from Sennheiser. You can see this is a small size. But this is not the reason why I changed it to this uh, the smaller unit because I, in a way, I would like to have both uh, those features. But I found out that when I have tested this was the best on the market, as my sound pusher would call it, uh, super softy uh, from an, also a Danish company called. Um, Bumblebee, and it's very good, but it's not good enough for me because I live in. I'm always out. I'm always shooting in wind, and I must realize that I, I don't want to. I don't think a lot about sound. The sound when I record just has to be good, and there has to be no wind so noise. So I finally chose this one. It's called Sinela Corsi, and it's uh, professional stuff that you usually put on a booming pole, but you can have a small shoe here to fit it on a DSLR. And look at the size of it. I mean, if I should have had, um, I just put this one on here. If I should have had my Sennheiser, you know, you can just see the the difference. Just to have a a holder to hold that very very uh, you know, those are different ones, you know. And I tried them all, and it just goes, you know, the weight it goes into the into the view view of the camera, and and it's it's just it's not pragmatic. It's 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 a pain in the eye. Oh. Well, this here is small. It's effective, and it's different than a lot of the other ones. Because it's the the uphanging here that makes it that you don't hear the handling noise, and the microphone sits in actually in the XLR unit here. So you put it in, stick it in there, and the reason why I use this holder is because the other one didn't fit in here. You put it in here into the Sinela, close it, put in this pin in the end, in the rear, and there you go. Now this, I think, is the best solution 
for a DSLR video shooter. And you don't have to think about bad sound because there's no noise in this. It sounds good from the side. It has really, really good uh, reach. And with this, uh, this cozy on the top, you have no wind sound. You don't have to do anything in post other than, you know, set the levels.